Okay, we have created uh, Apple uh, push notification services certificates for development and production purposes. And we have created an iOS development uh, certificate. Uh, and again, we've done it for development and production purposes. And uh, we are now ready to go uh, and create uh, provisioning profiles. And uh, actually, uh, provisioning profiles is the very last step that you need to do to be able to install uh, your iOS app on iOS device. And for that, uh, uh, you will need to create, uh, you will need to have your certificates created, Apple IDs created, and you will also need um, devices uh, to be added. Uh, devices that you are going to be testing your mobile application on. And um, I have on, under this account, I have only one device created. And uh, if you don't have it, uh, I'm going to quickly show you how to do it. And uh, to add a new device uh, to the list of devices that you want to be able to test, you need to add on this plus button then you will need to give your device a name and this name can be general my new iphone 5 for example and then you need to provide um universal device id our unique device id and uh, to find this device id uh, you can use xcode and for that, you will need to open Xcode and you will need to connect your iPhone device through the uh, USB cable that you have that you use to charge your iPhone. It's the same cable. And then from uh, select device, if it doesn't get automatically selected, you'll need to select this device from this drop down menu. Um, you'll find it at the top here. And once device is selected, uh, go to the window and then uh, go and select devices uh, that will open a list of all the simulators that you have and then um, you will have your iphone connected and from that iphone um, information you will have device information listed and the identifier will be at the bottom here so you will need to copy this um, alphanumeric uh, string value just select it do command c on your keyboard and close it and then go back to your um uh to your uh, browser and simply paste this value uh into unique device identifier text field and then click on create or continue i do have device added so i'm not going to add uh, a new one again but this is the harder step that you needed to do is to um, find uh, the value of the unique ID of your device. Okay, uh, once you do that, uh, you will have device and uh, you're ready uh, to go and create a provisioning profile.